Okay, three by five matrix. That's going to represent three equations in four unknowns, right? Mm -hmm. If it's an augmented matrix, then that implicitly that is, right? So I'll kind of make that augmented. I'm not going to fill numbers in here, but there's your matrix. It reduced form. Well, it could be where you have a three by three identity, but you can't get more than a three by three identity, right? If you don't have a fourth column, a fourth row to make it into an identity, but you have numbers here and here. Okay? Well, in this case, if your variables are x1, x2, x3, and x4, this tells you that the x1 plus one of these numbers equals some other number, x2 plus some number equals some other number, x3 plus some other number equals some other number, right? Okay. Um, and it doesn't say anything about x4, right? Actually, I say plus a number. There should be some number times x4 here, right? So it's just analogous to this, except we don't have a row of zeros, okay? So we don't have any contradiction. I've got a one there. Um, okay. So you got a free variable, x3, and then everything else is in terms of that free variable. So now you have. x1 is some number plus a multiple of t, etc., right? And you can't visualize this because now you've got four variables. That's in four-dimensional space. If you want to visualize it, you really can't. But it's going to be a line in four-dimensional space. Okay? Whatever that looks like. Okay? Now, it could be... this. What's that tell you? Well, it tells you that it uh, doesn't tell you anything about x2 or x4. Okay? That word is unspecified. I didn't leave myself room to write it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Two equal s, x four equal t, right? Okay. So your equation is um, x one equals something times t plus something, right? X two equals s. You don't know what that is. It could be any number. So x two could be any number. Uh, x three equals something times t plus something, that's be from your second row, right? And x4 equals t. So now you have two free variables, right? Now that's going to ultimately mean that your solution space is two dimensions in a four-dimensional space. So it's like a plane. You have two dimensions in a four-dimensional space. In a four-dimensional space, you can also have a plane of three dimensions. You could end up with three free variables. Right. Okay. Um, and, you know, actually you wouldn't end up with a zero here if you ended up with a zero here. You have something like this. So the x1 would be some times t, but also something times s. So 
a multiple of t, multiple of s, and a variable. Okay? Just so you know that, so you can look out for it and make sure you understand. Okay?